Hey everyone, so today I'm so thrilled to be sharing this video with you all because I am all about sharing with you things that make, you know, your life easier, products that I love, uh, methods of doing things, ways that I've found that are a little, you know, that are that I think are great. Um, cleaning brushes is one of those things that, you know, I have videos on, everybody, you know, that does videos or that has makeup brushes has a way of doing it, you all have a way of doing it. And it's really not something that is great fun. It's not. It's it's a chore. It takes a while. So there is a new product that is pretty amazing. It's unlike anything that is available. It makes cleaning your brushes so easy, so much more efficient. I literally cleaned 20 brushes in less than five minutes, and I wasn't even like rushing. It's just a product that is seriously something that's like, why didn't we have this before? It's like a staple in cleaning brushes now for me. Um, I put mine back in the case so you can see. It is the Sigma Brush Brush Spa Brush Cleaning Glove. It's a tongue twister. They come in black, pink, purple, or aqua. I have the black one. I've been using it over the past several days and I absolutely love it. So it looks like a pot holder. <laughs> has a nice lining so your hand doesn't sweat up inside it. You can wear it on either hand. Um, I'm going to take you to the sink in a moment and show you exactly how I use mine. Um, but it is just kind of genius. So, you know, you've all seen where, you know, people take their brushes, they clean them in their hands, they work with bristles. You can do this with the glove and not wet your hands at all. And what I love about it is that it's got a side for face brushes and a side for eye brushes. Oh, it's a little dirty from where I used it. Um, so, the face brush side is a little larger, like the, the nubs are a little larger. So, you put it under the water, you can work it up into a lather. The nubs make the lather work up more, so you use less, less brush cleanser, which is always a good thing. Um... Again, I'm going to demonstrate this in a moment. It's got um, a rinse texture, which I will show you how to use that. Same thing on the eye side. The nubs are a little smaller, a little sharper um, for eye brushes. And it's got a rinse texture that works really well for eye brushes. And then what I love the most is, you know, when you finish rinsing the brush, you squeeze it to get the water out. Well, this is nice because it has got a little texture right there along where you would squeeze. It looks almost like little combs, like little grooves. You squeeze the wet brush out, it reshapes it, and gets the water out. And you can even kind of, you know, on this little texture right here on the thumb, you can kind of um, refine the texture even more. And even as you're rinsing, you can take the brush and rub it along these really fine little nubs right here on this whole like refine section. And um, just, you know, to make sure everything's really out of there, to really make sure, and of course you'd be holding it down. Again, I'm going to show you in a moment. I'm just telling you how the glove works. So, it's really nice. The eye side has the same little deal. The product is available today. It's on the Sigma Beauty website for $39. I do have a link and a discount code in my more info if you expand that below. I am kind of obsessed with it. Yeah, if you wanted to stand at your sink a lot longer and get your hands wet and do all that, that's fine work with dirtier brushes, but this way really cleans the brushes a lot better. Um, I'm really picky about getting my brushes very clean, so that's why it takes a while to clean them. It is more efficient, it's easier on your hands, and it's just quicker. You don't waste so much time cleaning brushes. Another thing that's great about not having to wet your hands, like the traditional method, going like that, eventually your hands get a little irritated with the brush cleanser, which usually any good brush cleanser has alcohol in it. My whole point of cleaning brushes is getting the bacteria out, and that's what does that. Um, over time, it's going to be drying on your hands, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. The brushes are usually fine because they always have like a conditioning element like in the cleanser itself, so I've never had an issue with my brushes looking dry or anything from using that. But your hand, just over and over with the rubbing, can get irritated, and it's drying, and it's not good. So I love this. Again, your hand doesn't have these nubs, so your hands can't really work into that lather. So usually you're having to, you know, lather it up and then get in there, and ugh, and I just don't like doing that. So this is amazing. It's really, really a great product. I'm so excited. It's something that will never wear out. It's made out of silicone. It's easily washed. It'll last you forever, as will your brushes if you take care of them with this. So I posted a picture of this on my Instagram account. Um, days back and a lot of you were so like enthused with this and you wanted a video and you wanted a demo so that's why I'm doing this I really wanted to share this with you all anyways and um, yeah it's just it's turned a really crappy chore into something that's actually semi enjoyable because I'm not like you know up to my elbows and like grossness and it works really well 
gets your brushes really, really clean a lot faster. So I know I can talk about this all day, but I'm sure you want to see it in action. So come with me. I'm going to take you to my sink and show you exactly how I use this baby. Alright, so I'm at my sink. I've got my glove on. I've got a couple of brushes that I'm going to show you to clean. What I do with my cleanser, instead of pouring it directly on the mitt each time, which I think kind of waste the cleanser. I put about a tablespoon of cleanser in here, fill up a little bit more with water, um, and then what I do is I lightly wet the glove. I'm going to use the face side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a brush and just dip it, and then you can kind of see how it really lathers it up. So you just kind of wash it, and you can see the stuff's already gone, and then you can leave the soap on there and just kind of rinse like that and kind of lightly go like that to see if you got all the soap off. So I'm just kind of rinsing and then once you feel like it's all rinsed you can just take the little refine area that I showed you and quickly kind of squeeze it out and then I lay it on usually like a dish towel or something that I've got laying around. Now this one is really stubborn so Again, just wash it and you can see all the grime coming off. And if I was using the eye brushes, I would flip over to this side. I'll show you an eye brush in a moment. You can add a little more water if you want. Sometimes that helps. So then we're going to start rinsing. If it's a really stubborn brush, you can dip a little more. Rinse a little more. And it's clean. You just kind of squeeze it out. An obnoxious sound from the sink. And then lay it down. And then for the eye brush side, and see like as you go, you can kind of rinse it and it really, the stuff comes off the brush or the glove really easily. Okay, so I'm going to do the eye brush side now. So I dip it in there. You can see how dirty that brush was. And you just go back and forth on the eye brush side, which is a little nubbier. And you can see it's already coming off. You can go back and forth and dip a little more soap. That method is just so easy with the soap in a bowl because you just, you really don't waste as much soap. You can do so many brushes with that one little bowl. And you see it's pretty much, it's pretty good. These white brushes are so hard to get clean, but you can kind of see that one is, it's really clean. And you can leave some soap on the mitt for the next one if you wanted, but it's a really dirty brush. You can rinse it a little. So then the texture on this rinse side is a little nubbier and kind of squeeze it out and kind of shape it and there you go. So it's very, very simple. You can rinse it off when you're done, leave the mint out to dry and then if you want you can use your dry and shape. I didn't really talk about that in this video but um, it's really an easy way to dry your brushes. You just put it in there, and it dries it really, really quick. So you just use this one in a little bit of a larger hole. So you put it in there, it just dries the brushes faster. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and definitely check out one of these. I'm just saying, it's unlike anything else that's out there to clean brushes and I know we all kind of hate cleaning brushes so it's a really really great thing I just I love it there's nothing I would change about it it's it's really really good um, and I only washed like three brushes and I was explaining and all this but you can definitely do about 20 brushes in five minutes I did that the other day and it was, it was very very simple really really good so hope that you guys enjoyed it again there is a link to the product below with a coupon code if you're interested and I'll talk to you all very soon bye